Hey, Tim, thank you. So we want to talk about evacuations now. A mandatory evacuation issued for three zones in St. Johns County. So I'm going to pull up the uh, county's evacuation map here. Zones A, B, and parts of F are under evacuation or orders. So zone A is actually the, uh, uh, and I want my producer to correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm trying to see the uh, colors here correctly. This is zone A here that's in the red area. That's pretty much the entire St. John's County coastline from Ponte Vedra Beach to Marine Land. And then you have the areas around the St. John's River, and we're talking Fruit Cove uh, all the way down to uh, Hastings uh, over here. So let's talk about zone B. That's the orange areas uh, surrounded by the red in the Ponte Vedra Beach area over here. So as well as in the uh, St. Augustine Shores area. Zone F is in the pink, but we want to note that's only the areas south of State Road 206. So once again, Zone F, that's only the areas south of State Road 206 that need to evacuate. And people living in boats, RVs, mobile homes, and low-lying areas should also evacuate. Our Renata Di Gregorio is joining us live now at a sandbagging area in Volano Beach with more tonight. Anthony, we've been talking with some people here who say they plan to prep these sandbags so they can ride out the storm in their homes because they feel like it's too late now to leave. We met a mother and daughter who were just in Asheville. They say they were stuck in their home for three days. Now they're here in Volano Beach preparing sandbags to face Milton. Julia and Norma Ray say they are now pretty anxious. They looked for hotel hotels but say they couldn't find anything besides going north of Atlanta and they don't want to risk driving that far. Another woman making sandbags here tells us yesterday it took her friend 12 hours to drive from St. Petersburg to Savannah when it should have taken about six. Norma Ray is worried about flooding. You can see the beach from her house. Yeah, we were trapped for three days. It took three days to cut the trees down to get us out. So as soon as they cut the trees down. They told us that the road was failing and we needed to get out. So we got out, came here, and here we are again, a week later, doing it again. Ray says she does have some neighbors who are evacuating. You can tell because going down her street, she says there are some folks that have their hurricane shutters up and ready to go. Reporting live at Volano Beach, Renata Gregorio, First Coast News on your side. Wow, she has been through a lot. Renata, thank you. So